I'm Bob Hallmark in Longview, the heat. It's all anybody is talking about right now. Again, we're going to have triple digit temperatures today. Expected temperature here should be around 105 with a heat index of 111. It is positively dangerous for anybody to be outside for any length of time in this kind of heat. And what's that, what that is doing right now is driving people to a place we're very familiar with, which is the Highway 80 rescue mission here in Longview. And uh, that has become a challenge for the mission's director as well, who joins us right now, uh, Brian Livingston. Mm -hmm. uh, Brian, I guess, uh, tell me, uh, uh, I guess, if you had to encapsulize it, what is it, to, what's condition like right now at the mission? Uh, we, in the evenings, are sleeping people anywhere we can stick them, <laughs> quite honestly. There, there's, we're using every every bit of floor space in our day room and, and, and all just to, to get as many people in out of the heat as we possibly can. Um, the, our numbers have been up this year in general anyway, um, mm -hmm. just economy and, and other things going on. Um, but now with the heat, uh, we're even having people come in that, that have places to live, have homes, but maybe their air conditioning is out or, or, or not sufficient to keep up with um, with this heat. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're, we're having folks come in that we normally wouldn't see, but now, trying to escape the elements. Right. <laughs> Now that kind of fits in uh, partially with uh, what your mission statement is, which is that you're going to help anybody who comes looking for help. Uh, right. That puts you in a precarious position as well, because I know that you're over capacity and you're actually sleeping people on floors, right? Now. We are very full. We, we have mats and sleeping bags that we put people on the floors. Um, our women's shelter for the past several months has been over capacity. We're actually in the process of trying to, to shuffle some rooms around. We've got some more beds on order to, to try to increase the number of folks we can sleep up there. Um, but it's it's been a challenge and this heat is certainly not helping that. Uh, now, have you ever seen anything? We've had uh, intense uh, hot summers before. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a little, uh, this is a little more challenging because uh, it, it, for lack of a better term, we may be looking at a record here as far as heat wave. Uh, and what that does is that puts a strain on your resources as well. It does. One thing in particular, water. We typically during the summer go through two or three cases of water a day um, pretty easily, making sure everyone's hydrated. Um, when it gets to weather like this, it, it, it's pretty easy to double that number um, mm -hmm. and, and go through a whole lot of water. Um, we, the community always comes through. Um, they're always very gracious to, to help provide that need. Um, but over the next couple of weeks, as it stays in these, these 100 plus temperatures, we're going to need Lots and lots of water. Uh, and this doesn't look like it's going to end anytime soon. No, so it's, that, it's here to stay, it looks like. Right. Uh, so one of the things that we want to point out here is that what's a little different about this uh, this time around is that you don't have a whole lot of people sleeping overnight and then leaving. Uh, people, you say, are going out for very brief periods of time and then coming back. Our day rooms are staying pretty crowded. Um, we just, uh, we're, we're trying to, to make accommodations uh, where people have a place just to be during the day. Um, we're still trying to trying to stick with our case management and, our, and the, you know the normal rules and regulations and encouraging people to get out and look for jobs and get things taken care of that they need to, but also understanding that it's crazy hot, especially in the afternoons, and, and people don't want to be wandering the streets. They want to be in the air conditioning. So um, it it does it does present problems. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lots of people in a not so big space, but um, we're doing the best we can. Uh, and one of the things that uh, he just mentioned we want to delve into, uh, this is not unusual either. You have somebody actually staying with you right now who has a home, but uh, for one reason or another does not have working right. air conditioning in it. Right. We've had a couple of instances like that. People come in for, for meals or whatever just to kind of hang out during the day. Uh, one gentleman that Chase was telling me about the other day is, is he ha was with the mission, recently moved out into a trailer home but that trailer home doesn't have a air conditioning. So he came back to stay for a, a few nights trying to, you know, battle this heat. Mm. Um, so yeah, we're, we're just here to help whoever we can, however we can, um, whether they're out on the streets and homeless and need a place to stay, their air conditioning's out, maybe it, power could go out with the, mm -hmm. with the extreme temperatures and the strain on the power grid. We could end up with, with brownouts or blackouts in locations and people need a cool place to stay. We're here. All right. Uh, and obviously, uh, when uh, you come to the mission, you can be sure that they will uh, make every accommodation to try to, you know, let you get have a place to cool off, uh, get you some water so that you can hydrate. Right. Uh, if you want to stay for a meal, I know you guys uh, feed as Three well. Three meals a day. Yep. And 
you know, and, and right now I know some, sometimes that averages around 600 meals a day, if depending on how many people that you serve here and how many you take out. Absolutely. Too. Yeah. It can be, um, we've got our capacity between the men's and the women's shelter is right around 200 right now. Um, mm -hmm. and we feed everybody three times a day. So that's, it's a lot of food. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, as always, uh, you know, donations, uh, would be, uh, uh, very graciously accepted here. Uh, canned food, things with non-perishables, that sort of thing. Non-perishables, canned food, water, 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 mm -hmm. water, especially water. Uh, and we don't, don't want to yeah. forget anybody who is out there. I, I know that you actually do I try to get donations of sunscreen as well for anybody who's uh, yes, out in we, um, the Yes, sunscreen, hats, uh, any kind of anything that you would need to survive in hot weather like this, mm -hmm. um, the folks that we serve need it as well. So okay. um, any, any donations are welcome and we'll put them to good use. And I'm guessing uh, you're in it for the long haul right now because this does not look like it's going to end anytime. Right. Soon. We have we're implement we have implemented our um, inclement weather policies. We're just doing everything we can to help people stay safe in this weather. Right. Okay, Adam. Thank you. Appreciate thank you. It. All right. All right. And we'll have much more on this story tonight on KLTV Seven News for KLTV Web Extra. I'm Bob Hallmark.